you guys it's your girl erica welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how you can create your own logo that pops up over here if it's not right here it's going to be right here but i'm going to sh share with you guys how you can create your own logo without paying someone to do it so if you're interested keep on watching <laughs> If you're new to my channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell therefore you'll be notified every time you girl upload a video so in um for this video what you're gonna i mean yeah i think okay so i'm just showing you guys how i created mine if you have a different website that you like to use you can always feel free to use that website um i'm not going to be talking like this i'm gonna actually move get ready to move the camera to show you guys exactly what i do and how i do it okay Okay, so what you guys gonna wanna have is um Canva. Canva um is C A N V A. I'll print it on the screen somewhere. But um it has like this little logo right here. If you can see my finger pointing up at it. But it's called Canva. So what you wanna do is click on logo. This is also how I make my YouTube thumbnails as well. But um that'll be on a different video. I'm gonna just go ahead and show you guys how we do the logo. There we go had to switch the wi-fi why i keep changing i have no idea okay so you want to start with a blank logo and whatever you want your logo to um say or or um how can i say it like you just want a blank logo so my logo let's say i'm gonna go ahead and make my one that i want to be on here for <clears throat> Let me see for my lashes i should say um i would go to upload um i don't have the picture saved on here but this is where all my thumbnails and everything be at when i do my pictures or whatever so <clears throat> so we're just gonna let's start out with a new one so what i want to do is i'm gonna go to elements and this is these are the lashes that I want to use. So I'm gonna make them kind of like that. I pretty much already have a logo with this. I don't know if I saved it or not, but I'll just make another one so I can show you guys. Um, then you can click on the text. I'm just doing one for my. For the logo that I already have. Alright, so you'll pick out whatever font you want to use. Um, I think on mine I have this one, so I'm gonna go with that one. And for my lashes, I'm gonna use my brand name, which is Erica and her girls. And I am going to make this a lot bigger than what it is because I want it to be visible. Okay, so I don't think I want it that big, but I don't know. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll probably keep it this big. Okay, and then we're going to... Um, I'm going to actually keep it white. Um, One thing with... And... Because I want you guys to be able to actually see it. See it? So I'm going to just keep everything um pretty and white. But for the most part, wait. Because I want to add something else on here too. Let me see... And then whatever you want to find, you can, um, wait, I can't spell. <laughs> there we go. Let's see, hearts. Um, I think I want to use 
these but i cannot see them so we're going to change them to black just so i can see them and place them where i want them to go so we're going to do them So now, what I want to do is I want to change the color for it to be white. Um, I mean, you can change the colors to whatever you want it to be, but when you're doing different type of videos, you want everything to be able to be seen. And in the lower corner, I feel like it's more visible if it's white. So we're going to go on that. First, we're going to make everything transparent. So... This little box up here, I hope you guys can see my mouse. You're going to click on that, make sure it's transparent. So, click on it 100%. Click on that, and it's at 100%. So, then, since it's transparent, now you want to go ahead and change the colors for everything. And I'm going to change the colors to white. So now I am going to <clears throat> download this and then you're going to change the transparent background. You're going to change that too because you want everything to be transparent. So you're going to click that check mark and then you're going to hit download. After you download, your stuff is it's transparent so you can't really see it far as right now. You can see it a little bit but it's not that visible. Um, I can't see it at all from where I'm at, but I'm sure on my camera you guys can see it. Okay, so now what you do is whatever video you have, um, I'm going to take a clip of a video that you guys kind of already seen. Cause I'm going to make in the middle making something okay so i'm gonna click right here and then i'm gonna go ahead and click download i wasn't able to name it i probably should have named what i did but it's gonna it should show in here see that's my other ones i use okay wait a minute okay we're not playing this game let's go back and see what i named this thing as recent okay so it's erica and her girls three so we're gonna move this we're gonna move this just move this to desktop so to be easier to find so then you all right so what you want to do now is you're going to click on this put it here and then, okay so i hope the screen is showing it Okay, there we go. So you're going to click on this drop down and you're going to hit picture in the picture. Therefore, it can be small and you can make it to how you want it to whatever size you want it to be. So I'm going to make it maybe like that bit, maybe a little bit smaller. So I don't want it huge all over the screen. Okay, so we're going to put it right there. But now you see how it's still moving. So in order to stop it from moving, you're going to have to click on, make sure you highlight this part. Then you're going to click on that. And then that's going to, wait, no. You're going to hit fit screen. You're going to hit like, it's like a little box right here. It's right next to the little paint and brush, um, paint and palette. You're going to hit crop to fit screen. Once you hit crop the fit screen, then you're going to place this and, you know, make it nice and even or to wherever you want it to be at, be placed at. Then, boom. Now, when you go here and click over it, it's right there. So now if I play this, I'm going to turn it down because I don't want it. I mean, this is a video I already posted, but still. Okay, so now... Let's back up because I'm going to make the screen a little bigger for you guys. So now when you uh -oh, when you see it, 
you see how it's coming your logo is actually on the side right there let me make it a little bit longer so you guys can see and it could be placed wherever you want it to be placed however long you want it to be planned so on and so forth so I'm gonna show you guys one more time I'm gonna do it to where it gives that little bar part time to go away okay so you'll see you see now you have your own little logo or whatever you want to be in your videos and for it to show and play on your videos you just have to make sure that you import it on your video every time all right so you guys that was my quick tip on how you can create your own logo to have on all of your videos and even if you want to make labels out of that logo that'll be another video i'll show you guys doing kind of like the same method if you have iMovie or um whatever movie maker whatever you have that you upload or edit your videos on you can also use it on there but i just showed you guys how to do it using iMovie i hope this was very helpful don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and then i have more helpful tips for all my small youtubers and even youtubers that didn't know that you can do that without paying or getting charged for someone to do it for you i can't talk today but yeah so thank you guys again for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and see you guys in my next video Bye.